Today at Blade HQ, we're looking at a whole bunch of Benchmade EDC knives. We've got some amazing Benchmade EDC knives. We've got the amazing Hans from Benchmade. Thank you. And we're gonna go over these bad boys. I actually think they're amazing. What is up, guys? Today at Blade HQ, we're looking at a whole bunch of Benchmade EDC knives. What's gonna be the flow here, Zach? <laughs> Uh, the flow is, we've got some amazing Benchmade EDC knives. We've got the amazing Hans from Benchmade. Thank you. And we're gonna go over these bad boys. Are they all amazing? <laughs> I actually, mo almost everyone on the table I actually really like. I actually think they're amazing. Beautiful, what's first so, on the list? First on the list, you can't have a conversation about Benchmade and EDC without talking about the bug out. That's amazing. So, we got the bug out, we got uh, S30V handle, nice and light, deep carry pocket clip. Mini deep carry pocket clip. Mini mm. deep carry pocket clip, Key. that's... That's a big thing for Hans. Um, <laughs> you, were, you were the propagator of the mini, right? Yeah. Oh, I love this mini deep carry clip. Yep. Better retention, lighter weight, looks cool. Came from your desk, right? Comes from my desk. It's beautiful. <laughs> Boom. But even more importantly with this bug out is Hans has some information about the bug out for us. Boom. Yeah. Right Boom. there, baby. Yeah. The real bug out. <laughs> so this is the 535 GRY-1. GRY being here for the blade. This is actually chromium nitride. It's a PVD coating. Super low reflection, really durable, scratch resistant. Um, also coated the clip. That is gonna be a really sweet nice. little addition. Where is it? Uh, I never give it to an ordinary citizen. Where is it? Uh, that color just kind of blends into anything, as does the handle. This is a uh, real Ranger green. So really cool, um, kind of blends into all colors. It, it looks a little greenish on brown, it looks a little brown nice. on green, but really good kind of matte combo over the whole thing with just a little touch here of some desert tan anodized thumb studs and barrel spacers. Yeah, those barrel you spacers. You said something off camera that I, I think you need to repeat for these good people. Gucci tactical? <laughs> Gucci, Gucci tactical, tactical, baby. <laughs> you gotta have a teeny little I bit of bling it. on that bad boy. So love yeah, it. these are available when this video Soon comes out, they, should, they, should, yeah. be they should be available. Available for yeah. pre-order so, right now today when we're filming this. But yeah, when so it comes out. BladeHQ.com. Next on the list is the Benchmade 940. Now you guys have seen this one a bunch. We've shown it a lot on Knife Banter. Uh, I purchased one at one time, then I sold it to unceremoniously in a, in a McDonald's parking lot. Sounds like a ceremony if it's in a McDonald's Shut parking up, lot. Fair enough, it was. <laughs> so the 940 comes in two different, three different varieties, excuse me. You've got the 940-2, the 940. Here, should we, should Classic we, aluminum. Should we yeah. all hold one together? Let's all hold one oh. together. And by their powers combined, <laughs> here we go. Captain Planet. <laughs> Happy to help, Planeteers. Uh, and you got the 940-1. So yeah. 940-940-2, 940-1. Highest one. rated everyday carry of all time, man. Can't go wrong. Yep. Unbelievable. It's just too long. It's just you, too long. You can go wrong for Ben, but not for everybody else. That's right. <laughs> so this is a pretty unique blade shape. Uh, this was one of the first, actually this was the first collaboration Benchmade did with Warren Osborne. Nice. Warren Osborne being an Australian who was also a Texas rancher. So he kind of designed his knives to have that utility in the field. Literally this like four scraping hooves kind of designed almost after a spay blade. Nice. But he wanted it to be able to dress up when he went out square dancing as well. Cool. So I like that. A little history on the 940 there. Very first Benchmade collaboration with Osborne, still a bestseller. So Man. Gucci tactical, hillbilly fancy. Boom. I like Boom. that. And I, I think maybe that's the reason I never loved it. It's just a little bit long for me. It's it it's like, what do they say? It wants to go to work. And I don't I don't do that like I'm in an office. So this <laughs> this thing in an office, like doesn't really fit my kind of work. There you personally. go. Personally. Not that I don't like getting dirty and stuff. No, of course. Yeah. But <laughs> I like that one. I like it visually, I think it's beautiful. I think it's a fantastic knife, but not my knife. There you go. What's the next on the list? Next up, we've got the Griptilian family. We've got oh, a little yeah. family going on here. Mm. So this is the regular grip. Many uh, more options on this one too. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of options on this one. This has got a 20 CV blade, um, awesome pocket clip on the back. Deep carry. Deep, Deep carry, carry pocket clip and access lock. Just great, all around EDC classic. And then we've got the mini that goes along with it. And so th this is the newer updated version with the G10. Yep. This one's got the polymer handle or glass reinforced nylon, official name. Yep. But uh, the the thing I like about the updated version, updated seal plus the G10, I think people clamored for probably yeah. like 15 years. Yes. Make it in G10, and finally you guys did. What what yeah. would prompt a change like that? Is that listening to the people or seeing a niche or like what? what yeah, there? honestly, this was late 
incoming. We should have done this for years. Uh, we did try to make it special. You get a cool layered G10. So that blue pop. You pop them open. Right along the inside, it's really nice, along with the blue barrel spacers. Barrel spacers just making it easier to clean, but also a little opportunity to accent it. And then 20 CV, that's been our big move, actually, at Benchmade to use more. I'm kind of getting into made in USA only steels. 20 CV being kind of the USA version of M390. Right. right. So you get a really high end steel, but we can keep it 100% made in the USA. Cool. My, uh, I own a mini Griptilian and my wife loves it. It's, awesome. uh, she loves the axis lock, she loves the size. She's tried to pilfer it. <laughs> More than once, huh? I keep it well hidden. There you go. <laughs> Actually, when I started at Benchmade, they gave me a wife knife. Oh, really? They gave me a pink handled uh, sheep's foot Griptilian. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Still one of my wife's favorite knives. Nice. <laughs> did you pick it or this is no, just No, they like, were just like, no, one. here, give this to your wife. She'll think this is cool. Cool. And she did. Right on. Wow, score. <laughs> score. What's next on the list, Hans? Yeah, what do we got? Oh, this is actually one of my favorites. I made these guys add it in here. Um, it wasn't on the table when we started. <laughs> for everyday carry, this is a really sleek addition. I love the feel of the hard anodized aluminum. Here, I'll kind of show you guys. You might be able to see the finish difference on this versus maybe your traditional aluminum handles. Um, Slides nice and you know on your pocket in and out doesn't chew them up so kind of better for pants You don't need to get torn up and then this mechanism. I'll see if I can show it But there's a tiny flipper tab on there just a little touch gets that s90 blade swinging open And it is an axis lock so you've got an axis assist flipper all in a sleek package with s90 V uh, and Just a beautiful design in nice. fact you, when it's open You can't even tell it's a flipper because that little tab just nests itself under the bolster Nice. I just love it. It's a it's a fun knife to hold and use. Um, really so beautiful that, design. That secondary lock in the handle there. Yeah, uh, all of our assists have an additional safety. I like the safety actually located just underneath the axis lock versus a spine safety. Just a nice little add, but fun knife to open and play with. Yeah, it's one I hadn't really played with ever before. I've seen it, never really touched it. You threw it on the table, and I, I really liked it, uh, messing around with it. And so did uh, Jamie, our camera guy. He was he was digging nice. it as well. So <laughs> should we do should we do three seconds of a commercial break, <laughs> guys? When you buy a Benchmade right now, you get a Benchmade EDC notebook. So EDC so, notebook for your EDC knife. Yeah, yeah. These things are pretty cool. We set this on the table, and what did you say, Hans? Can I have? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Here's so that gift. one's yours. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> but don't we like to throw a little little something something in occasionally? So yeah, we, uh, we had those notebooks made, and uh, I think they turned out really nice. It's a good size. I heart. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is now complete. All next, right, next on the list. Yep, yeah, next on the list, we've got the Casbah. So this is an auto, and uh, just great knife all around. I think it's S30V. S30V. Perfect. You S30V got the blade. glassfield nylon handles, yep. deep carry clip, deep carry clip, lightweight. Super versatile drop point blade. Actually, there's nothing not to like about this knife. The uh, texturing done on the handle is actually really nice when you compare it in contrast, and I'll skip ahead to like a CLA handle. Yeah. A lot of people, um, these knives open with some pretty serious authority. So that little bit of extra purchase that that gives you, a lot of people really like. Hmm. It is so. nice. And this, and to me, this feels a little bit like the CLA where you get Really good, nice blade, but it still feels really light in hand. Feels good in hand. Oh, so, yeah. Where did the yeah. name Caspar come from, Hans? Please tell me it came from the song. Ask in the comments. I'll have uh, Greg, our PLM for the black class, uh, go ahead and answer. Guys, I'm sure he's got a great story. Ask Greg in the comments where this name came from, because I don't even know. I want to know. So. <laughs> this will be good. This will be good. <laughs> I, I expect Bench made comments in there. Yeah. <laughs> we need to know. I'll comment. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Next one on the list, you insisted on an OTF also, in, the, yes. in the EDC lineup. So tell us what knife it is and why would I want an EDC in an OTF? Lens? I personally carried one of these for a long time. There is absolutely nothing more practical than a one-handed open and close out the front. If you're going to be using it every day, um, this is super nice on the pocket, super slim, spine fired so you're already in that kind of usable position. It's got a really nice drop point blade on there. Um, again, useful for just about anything you do. What's nice about Benchmade, and I've said it before, lifetime warranty, life sharp, you nice. send it in, free cleaning. The only thing people may have problems with EDCing and out the front is if your pockets tend to collect a lot of grit or whatever, that can be sucked back in. I've never had any problems with it, but just super practical. Never have to worry about opening and closing a blade or any kind of dexterity, it just pop. You have to pop it, ladies and gentlemen. And it's there when you need it. I love nice. it. 
These are going to be a little spendy, right? We're looking at what? Two. I think three. they go right around two. Yeah, I can't remember actually what okay, those go Matthew, for. Matthew, fix it. Yeah, it was it was <laughs> it was a dark horse in there, so I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. I made him throw it in, guys, but I am a huge <laughs> fan of out the front. Really. No, I, I yeah. like I like the I like the idea of an out the front as an everyday carry at, for the one handed um, carry. And my favorite everyday is an, an HK Benchmade HK uh, Mini Access. That's one-handed for me yep. as well. One-handed open and close. And that's, but that's why I can't carry an OTF is my pockets always have grit. <laughs> See, to, to me, I, I think they're fun, but they're this is aggressive. Yeah. And I think if you're in a non-knife friendly situation, this this comes off. You know, call attention to yourself. It, it's Tell people I'm 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 serious. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this this is the antithesis of that bug out. Dog. Yeah, for sure. Like yeah. yeah. For sure. <laughs> very, very low key, quiet, open. Yeah. This is like, look at me. <laughs> you know. Maybe if we made a blue handle. Yeah. There you go. Don't, don't do that. To don't me, tease Hans. me. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tease me like that. What's next on the list? Uh, next, we've got the proper. So this is the Benchmade proper uh, S30V blade. This particular one has the micarta handle on it. Canvas micarta. Yeah. Canvas which, micarta. Honestly, for those of you that haven't felt the difference, I linen micartas are awesome. Yeah. You get great look and feel. Canvas micarta is like next level. I just, yeah. it has a little almost tackiness. It does. It. And that's actually yeah. something I love about this yeah. is that it does have that tackiness. I've had some slip joints in the past and they're usually all like a, a very smooth wood handle. And I like that tackiness. I really like the jimping on the the back end here, because with the slip joint, personally, I like to feel just a little more secure in holding it, right? And so yeah, great knife all the way around. Uh, around here we call this particular one Eleanor. There's a whole story about that we can tell another time. <laughs> or in the comments. <laughs> or in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this before we move on to the next one, Hans, just real quick. Why a slip joint? This is Benchmade's first ever. Mm -hmm. Why a slip joint? Um, honestly, when I was looking at everyday carry, for me, I don't always even want a clip. Um, there's a lot of people out there, I don't have it on me, but if you carry a key bar or you have another pocket accessory that's already hanging out of your pocket, sometimes it's nice to have something that can just drop to the bottom that is kind of fun to use. This kind of, every time I open it up, it kind of, I'm doing it for a reason. It's kind of fun to open. I'm getting out my knife, I'm gonna cut some whatever and boom, close it back up. It's fun. I'm it's into kind of it. ritualistic. I yeah, guess. and that's yeah. what a lot of guys who carry slip joints only, or a lot of guys who are into classic uh, knives. That's what they say. Traditional knives. That's what they say as well. Is it's there's almost this um, methodology, methodology, a, a yeah, rhythm to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, to it, to using your knife, which I like. And it brings the other thing with a slip joint. There's that mindfulness as well, right? When yeah. you're using your knife, how you're using it, and you can just make them really thin. Yeah. Like yeah. this just hangs out at the bottom of your pocket. That's another thing that I love about this. While you do get that tackiness on the handle, it doesn't go in the pocket. It just slides right in. So, yeah. great knife. Next on the list, Benchmade CLA. Automatic knife. S No, 154CM. Now, you told me, Hans, that 154CM is going away. Well, so we're not doing any new products with 154 okay, so CM. Okay, so old products. Heritage product, okay. yeah. Legacy stuff gets to stick around. But yeah, S30V is the new baseline So for the us. CLA will probably have 154CM forever? For the foreseeable future. Foreseeable future. There might be some new ones coming. Out, so. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. There's Hans secrets. Is, Hans has been sitting here teasing us all day. He's just like, wait till next spring. Wait till next summer. Oh, just like, he's got stuff in the works. So it's, it's exciting to see. The CLA here, obviously push button auto. So to open it, just push the button right there. Also has that uh, lock, that safety lock. The side right safety is yep. really nice. And these ones do open with authority. There's they the 4300-1 has a textured handle that a lot of people also prefer. If you're not comfortable with that kind of pop on the mm -hmm. open. You pop them open. You pop them, pop, 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 pop. Um, these ones do fly out of people's hands at trade shows when I show people this mechanism. Nice. nice. <laughs> I do like the G10 on this. I think- uh, Well, you know what not... CLA stands for. Uh, I can't remember, <laughs> dang it. Disappointed! We should have a quiz every every knife vendor. Right, right. Composite Com uh, light auto. auto. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no, I, I love the I love that it's not super tactical. Like it's tactical, but not like in your face. You know what I mean? So I find it to be yeah, very very friendly everyday user. Um, the blade shape on it's just a nice drop point. Nice. Neutral handle. Love it. Deep carry pocket clip. Can't go wrong. Yeah, you can't nice. go wrong with that deep carry. Okay, what's next? You insisted that we keep this one in, Hans. Yeah, well, this, oh, one almost, you, this one almost this got the axe. It did. No, they wanted to get rid of this. <laughs> I, I think they have something against the hunt knives. This I consider more hunt heritage, but okay. with modern materials. And in the same reason why I think the proper has caught on modern classics where you can take something that looks really familiar and old, but you know you're getting 
powdered metals, you're getting high-end mechanisms or handle materials, just good finishing, something we do on all our stuff. So this aluminum bolster, I think, is a vast departure from what you see out there in terms of brass bolters and other traditional stuff. Just looks really cool, stabilized wood handles, that little bit of pop from the backspacer. You pop them open, you pop them open, you pop them, pop, 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 pop them. You have to pop it, ladies and gentlemen. You have to pop it. Pop. It's pop. Pop, pop. And the anodized pivot rings there. I just love everything about this knife. And These it's a, it's a diamond wood, right, on the handle? This It's stabilized wood. It's stabilized Diamond wood, okay. wood was a, a trademark that it's same yeah. recipe. It's just cool. different stuff. Do you think more more hunters are buying this for actual hunting, or is this more of a heritage styling? I mean, hunters always justify buying knives because they hunt. That doesn't mean all their knives get <laughs> Got used it. for hunting. Got it. Yeah. Wise, wise words. Well done. <laughs> Next on the list, guys, Benchmade Freak, which you love this name. I do, yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favorite named products. <laughs> Actually, internally at Benchmade, they didn't like my first pick for the name, so I gave them that name. That's the pick. <laughs> they really don't like that name. <laughs> I, I love those stories. I love the internal stories. This one's S30V. You've got, this is a Grivery, is that correct? Well, this we call VersaFlex, and it's a combo handle. So you've okay. got that same Glassfield Nylon or Grivery kind of underneath, and then you've got that rubberized material over molded on top. Nice. So it gives you all that grip on the exterior, but then in the clip land, you still have the harder plastic. So it kind of slides in and out of the pocket. Um, my favorite thing about this one is the blade shape. It's just an ultimate slicing, super high grind. And then the lock-in. So if you actually place your thumb on that ramp and squeeze down, that knife isn't going anywhere, no mm. matter the conditions, and you can do some crazy work with it. It's it's nice. comfortable to use. Now, you were telling us that to get to this design, you went to a bunch of shops, and you actually like took guys' tools and yeah. like... Yeah, we actually bugged hydraulic mechanics, like people who are super abusive to their tools and have pretty strong preferences on what their tools have to have on them in terms of materials and ergonomics. And this is where like the Freak and the Boost really originated, was talking to hard use tool guys. Nice. And also as a hydraulic mechanic, I'm not an official hydraulic mechanic, but I've serviced uh, forklifts, uh, track hose, stuff like that here and there. Your hands are always covered in the worst yeah. hydraulic oil yeah. ever. So having something that's extra grippy as in that profession is super important. That was nice. that was what they talked about, so. Cool, love it. Now the next one on the table was actually announced earlier this week. Yeah. It's kind of a, a dark horse. I don't even know the name, 470? The, the 407, 407, the Valation, or Valation. Viacion, as I like to call it. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Tell us more. <laughs> um, this guy is, as far as like an everyday carry, this is the most heavy duty of this bunch, by far. Um, you got full aluminum handles on this thing. Very comfortable, um, but a little weighty. You've got a large S30V blade on here with a cool, I think, mohawked spine feature. And then you do have a carbide glass breaker on there as well. Yeah. So a lot of functionality. Really, I, I can see this being one of somebody's most hardest use knives. I wouldn't worry about this knife in any situation whatsoever. Yeah, so I generally don't like big knives at all, and I really don't like assisted knives. This is assisted, guys. I kind of love this knife a little bit. And it's got the lock here on the back as well. Like, I kind of love it. And it, I think the reason is, is that the assist, it doesn't, the, I think the reason I don't like assist is because it feels like it takes the knife over from me. I don't like that feeling. This almost just, it goes, it feels how the knife should kind open. Kind of a true assist. Yeah, it's a true assist. Like it doesn't, I don't have to fight it. I don't even have to really feel it. It's mm. just there. So anyways, big fan of this knife. I was nice. stoked on this. It's a little big for you, Ben, I know. Not the right it color. <laughs> but is. honestly, like, I'm, uh, this is definitely out of my norm, but I'm kind of crushing on it. Okay, so, on so it. let me ask you this, Zach. Of all the knives on the table, which one, do you, which one is next on your list? <sighs> That's hard. Next on my list because I know I can get it. Bug out. Bug out. This mm. bug out in particular. The blue bug out I've loved, but I love the coated blade on this. I love the coloring on this. This it's not. This is for sure the next knife that I buy. So nice. oh. very excited about this one. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. I think my next knife is going to be the Benchmade Mini Bug Out that I've been petitioning Hans all day to make. <laughs> yep. You have been petitioning Hans all day to make it. Okay. So. I love the Bug Out. I think it's really great. It's got just about half an inch too much blade on yeah. it for me personally. Uh, like I like to be able to get to the end of that blade. That's my preference. And that bug out misses it just by a hair. So yeah. okay, not the bug out. What? What? Which one, Ben? Hmm. I, 
I need my mini bug out, You man. need your mini bug out. I'm just going to start a petition. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to go to change.org, guys, and uh, we need to start a petition. Benchmade mini bug out. Ben's Benchmade ben. mini bug out. Yeah. In, in Ben's blue. Love it. Ben edition. The Ben edition. <laughs> Hans, thank you, sir. As always, Love thanks it. for being on yeah. Night Panther yep. with us. Guys, we put out new videos every week, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe and give us a like, leave us a comment, and we'll have another video coming out for you next week. You're welcome. <laughs> Went a little over, maybe. 18 minutes, about. But okay. nothing, some creative editing. Case. Yeah. <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done. Then I will break you.